Hi sir, how are you? I am fine, Varun, and you can call me Utkarsh also instead of Sir. Okay. Hi Utkarsh, how are you? I am pretty much fine, Varun. Uh, how's your day have been like? Yeah, the day has been quite fantastic, full of energy, because uh, I started my day with some one-hour workout of cardio and weightlifting. Cardio and weightlifting. How do you manage to do all this in you know this this chill winter? So instead of using the word chill or using the word winter season, I would rather say it uh, a challenging season, because in winters you have to challenge your body, you have to challenge your soul, and if you are a fitness freak, then definitely it is a very brilliant time to exercise. Nice. I could never. Oh, you <laughs> can. Well, if you motivate me enough, then one day maybe I would. Oh, definitely. So. uh tell me something uh placements are going on right mm. uh i know nothing of placements can you tell me something about the procedure how it goes how the company comes how how they take interviews how many rounds are there uh instead of saying placement something very tedious or difficult to crack i think it is a very simple process because uh, there you just need to focus upon your communication and the main thing is basic communication and your natural flow of communication which you need to do at the time of placements and second thing it's all about the play, uh, you can say training or preparation which you have been doing throughout your mba and you just have to showcase your skills potential in this 5 minute session of placement and apart from this i think the pretty or you can say the very most important thing in the placement is that how natural or how you can say original you are with the recruiter and if you are having a good relation or rapport with the recruiter in those 5 minute of duration then definitely i think you can crack the journey right 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 so coming to uh, academics i have heard from faculties that you have done some certification from iift yeah tell me something about it so first of all iift stands for indian institute of foreign trade yeah, right. so it is a sole body in india Uh, established by the government of india for the preparation of uh, international business import and export for the various professionals and for the students also so yes along with my mba i did certification from the iift in the import and export management and the basic reason behind doing so is that uh, i wanted to add something more productive or more genuine in my experience pertaining to international business because again i say that uh, iift just stands for international business only right. throughout the country right and i think uh, doing more certification more short term courses along with your regular mba so it is all about priority and if you are ready to have this challenge because this challenge is definitely going to add more productivity so if you are willing to carry this productive weight then definitely you can take out some time for your regular mp and for your certifications as well okay so nice it's very nice of you to tell me about uh, all this uh, now coming to a very serious question you might find this challenging uh, what do you think you have added to your personality after joining mba see the first thing which you add to your personality after mba is your uh, perception towards the world right you become more uh, sophisticated you become more serious not in a bad way but in a good way second you get to know about the new realities of the business arena because since uh, if you are in your graduation journey we tend to stay quite uh, chill quite casual with your studies with your uh, future journey but the moment you enter into mba you become very practical because here you are seeing the future of the country future of the business field so i think it's all about learning new concept imbibing new realities of the business world hmm quite insightful i should say um where did you did your internship from so uh, first of all and when was it yeah please tell me the timeline first of all it is very important question because the internship is something which provide you with practical experience although bookish or you can say theoretical knowledge is pretty much important but 
in addition to your uh, practical knowledge so i did my internship from the nazir hospitality limited so the this company has a long chain of different restaurant throughout the country so i i was at the profile of uh, marketer during my internship and during internship i got to know about the contemporary dynamics of market and moreover at the personal level you get to know about your personality also because during mba you tend to be quite comfortable because you have your friends you have your regular faculties around you are in a comfortable environment definitely right? mm-hmm. but in internship you have your bosses you have your colleagues to compete in a healthy manner so it is something which definitely adds to your personality your skills your ability to manage people what are your interests and how do you keep yourself updated because i have seen you uh, reading newspapers all the time you you do all these videos on linkedin how do you manage on this uh, so first of all if i talk about my interest so definitely my first love would be fitness uh, doing sports doing some cardio weight lifting and coming upon uh, how i keep myself updated so the reason is the hindu newspaper basically i prefer this newspaper because uh, i love current affairs i love uh, geopolitics and other scenarios going around the world and uh, the last thing is that after getting updated from such sources as i told you the hindu newspaper i regularly make different blogs vlogs upon uh, geopolitics uh, brands how people manage their brand what is going inside the geopolitical arena so these are my sources of uh, you can say updation and i write articles also on the content which i have got from yeah, different sources recently published i know yeah i got my article published in the international business times along with the publication in the focus wto journal of the indian institute of foreign trade that's that's an amazing thing uh, now it's my turn to sit on this chair of a ceo yeah, no, so, mm-hmm. no 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 i am going to ask a question to him okay. so you are asking me about uh, the changes you have in your personality after mba but uh, i want to ask about your uh, experience but during the transmission from your graduation to your mba because in graduation you mainly wear jeans or t-shirt but now you have a coat or your pant so it is pretty much sophisticated you can say so how are you feeling well first of all i feel classy yeah we are any even you are looking classy thank you thank you for the compliment uh, i feel classy i feel like i am a manager like some of our faculty said act like manager behave like manager so i try to do that and uh, coming to you know the experience i think uh, it's very exhilarating it's like i've come to this new world because during my uh, bachelor's i used to be like this you know a kid i would yeah. say in even i would say that the mba is all about turning of a boy into a man yeah yeah right <laughs> right so i exactly i think i i was a boy back then and now i've become a man a handsome man <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh, so so i think uh, there's a lot of learning the moment you entered into mba so how was the experience with the faculties of jaipuria uh, one thing i would say about uh, the college our college honestly and i'm saying this very honestly the faculty here is top notch i mean definitely definitely i mean they they just give us give us time whenever we want like i can go to the culture is so so open that i can go to the faculty room and talk to any teacher that i want yeah. and i am sure that they'll uh, you know guide me towards the right direction yeah, because uh, it's at the end it is all about the support and appreciation you get from your faculties because they are the ultimate uh, you can say your guide your coach your best friends even because yeah. they help you to sail through the uh, journey of life also i hope you like this podcast yeah definitely and even to my audience if you are willing to have some more podcast from our side so please do like subscribe and share our podcast thank you so much and also don't forget to comment yeah thank you so much